Hi, my name is Lynn Bogan. I've been teaching at Rock Hill High School in Rock Hill, South Carolina for about 19 years. The last three years I have been using the Promethean board and it's been three of the best years of my teaching experience I've had. The kids love the board. I love the board. I love the interaction with the students and the material. It just makes those visual learners understand and see everything uh, very clearly. The hands-on students have a chance to practice and touch the board and move objects around. It's just a great overall learning. So if you have your rectangle, okay, and they have told you up front that the parameter is 84, and you know that that means all four sides would add up to the 84. Let's treat things that we remember about our rectangle. Opposite sides are equal. So if this is 5x, that should be 5x. If this side is 2x, this is 2x and x. And then your 2x and your 2x, and you would add those together, and you would set that equal to 84. Got it? Before the Promethean board, it was really difficult to teach the meaning of skew lines, a complex 3D image. Even a hands-on model was not sufficient. Skew lines are much easier to see with the Promethean board because students can pull the segments apart and see which lines are skewed to the others. We can undo and redo the cube, showing skew lines with different line segments, too. Skew two. Skew to Perfect. Math games are great. The Promethean board allows me to create math games and engage my students. I find my students are so eager to learn geometry when it's made fun. Students use the magic eraser to reveal prizes to the Let's Make a Math Deal game that's patterned after the 70s game show Let's Make a Deal. Students are happy to be winners. and its technology allows me to use programs on my computer like a random name generator shown here to pick students to come to the board. This visual clue adds interest to the game and the students love it when their name is selected and shown on the board in front of the class. For many years, I have struggled with trying to find a way to help students that were absent from class, who struggle with attention deficit disorder, or just need a little extra help with the class material. Over the course of the year, I started video recording my lessons, downloading my flip charts, and placing them on my website at Bogan's Bearcat Briefs. On this website, I have included material for both teachers and students. The material for teachers shows training flip charts, how to create videos, how to upload flip charts and videos, and how to create a website to host the videos. I'm now able to help students beyond the classroom walls. The students can view previous lessons as well as the current day's lesson and they can do this from any internet connection. Students that have been absent on a field trip, for example, are able to view my lessons and follow along so that they are now back on track once they return to the classroom. Students have been able to use it as tutoring material or as a refresher for the current day's lesson. My students have benefited from these videos and this is what they have to say. Hey my, hey, my name is Jordan, and um, Ms. Bogan's website videos about math helped me catch up when I felt like I didn't understand a lesson or I missed a day in class, and it just helped me understand what was going on in class. Hey, I'm Dakota, and I'm in Ms. Bogan's first block class, and her video website helped me a lot to understand the material. And what I was doing, like if I was absent for a day, I could just go home. It was like I was in class that day because I knew the entire lesson and I knew what was going on in class. And I think it's a big help for students that don't, don't understand what's going on. I'm having fun teaching, my kids are having fun learning, and I look at it as a win-win situation. Um, I don't know what I would do without my board, it's my best friend. Go, Go Rocky! Rocky!